Every month, Dragon Champions has a daily rewards program, much like Raid Shadow Legends, but they also have a battle pass, including the free version of a battle pass, which includes not only more free stuff, but also a new free guaranteed hero. And we're gonna look at that in today's video. So you want to fight and win, then make sure to take advantage of this exclusive promo code Bionic before level 15 to get free in-game loot so that you can become an arena champion in Dragon Champions. So let's first start with a few highlights of the Battle Pass and the Lock and Reward program. Number one, you will be getting some Hero Stones of the new hero in the Battle Pass, 25 on the free version, 55 on the premium version, which means you can definitely start using this hero. You're also going to get more Hero Stones of another hero in the Lock and Reward program, as we just saw in the beginning. You're going to be getting a whole lot of gold. In this game, your gold goes probably 10 times further than it does in Raid Shadow Legends. In fact, you're getting about 1 1.7 million total between both of these programs you're also going to be getting some material to increase the gear level of your heroes but more importantly on the premium version you would be getting some of the new legendary five star runes with the right main stat and some really good sub stats so that's sort of like saying i'm gonna buy a speed pack in raid shadow legends it is going to contain speed boots with at least let's say crit chance on a sub stats for those boots i think that's absolutely amazing and really Really makes the premium battle pass always worth a buying at least in my opinion and it's probably half the price if not more of what it used to be in raid shadow legends but guys it's the fact that this is there every month another thing i always consider in dragon champions when a month resets is the drake coins you're going to get about 500 free drake coins in the login reward program that's reasonable. You could buy 6650 for $73. That's a little bit expensive. Or you could buy roughly the same amount for $7.50, which is the monthly reward. But you get this over the 30-day period of time, which means every day you're going to be getting a little bit. But it gets even better if you do plan on playing this game a little bit more and you want to really get your money's worth. You have the monthly deluxe reward, which is $22 for 20,000 Dre coins. And 20,000 Dre coins is well above $145. So I think that for value in this game, they certainly have some really good deals. And I usually end up buying those along with the battle pass. Now, here's a first look at the new hero, which you would be getting as part of the battle pass. She looks pretty amazing. She's bringing a lot of unique things to the table. Here's her maxed out ability, the A1. Basically, if the target has taunt, it is going to deal more damage. It also is going to damage another hero and both of them are going to get bleeding. Interesting, but it gets a lot better better this right here an aoe attack which will randomly rearrange all effects of taunt and invisibility on enemies who receive damage but here's the best part it ignores tenacity which is basically your resistance in this game so in other words i don't think this can really be resisted if the position of the buffs hasn't changed Naya is going to restore 30% of her turn meter. That's always good. Then we have this skill right here, which is also pretty amazing. You buff up with a couple of different buffs on yourself. If Selena is in the party, we'll get to her in a second. She gains the same effects. And if Naya is at full health, she restores yet again more turn meter. But then here's the amazing passive. She's basically going to get maximum health damage or deal maximum health damage to enemies. This damage ignores armor and enemies with taunt can't neither dodge Naya's attack nor counter attack if Selena is in the party she gains the same advantages so we've had a lot of tanks recently that have the dodge and it is really annoying this is a counter to that meta so Selena is this hero right here she's been in the game for a while but you're actually getting roughly 50 hero stones of this hero as part of the login reward program so this is basically the partner to the new one Naya and I think this is pretty cool that we have a new synergy for the order faction so i'm not going to cover her in details she's been in the game for a long time but still it is nice to be able to get a couple more pieces of this one then we have saboteur another new hero added to the game this is a clans orc healer also really looks kind of like world of warcraft in my opinion so we're quickly going to go over his skill set right here we basically deal magic damage on the a1 and inflicts buff immunity for two turns this is unique here as well in the sense that we never really had this on an a1 if i'm not mistaken taken then we also deal or heal sorry all allies for 540 percent of saboteurs magical damage that's a pretty 
big heal. Allies with full health and no debuffs instead get shield equal to 270% of his magical damage and it applies potency increase to all allied orcs. This is always a very nice. So that's basically like your increased accuracy in Raid Shadow Legends. Then for this skill right here, we remove all debuffs from himself. You applies uh, to himself and all allies increase armor for two turns. And you also get uh, himself and Harder debuff immunity for two turns. Inflicts slow and days for two turns on all enemies afflicted by ability block or buff immunity. So this guy is probably going to work really, really well with Hardork, which is another hero already in the game. And then finally for the passive here, it does look like you get more potency and magical damage for each enemy afflicted by at least one debuff. So again, another really interesting hero. Finally, here's one more thing I want to quickly highlight about a monthly reset in Dragon Champions, especially this one where we're about to have a special type of event around Easter. Usually when we get those, we have in-game activities to complete, which is going to give us a special type of currency that you can spend in the shop, let's say to get the hero stones of some of the previous ones you weren't able to max out. So that's always a nice little addition that is about to start, so you have time to get ready for that. On top of that, in the runes tab of the shop, they added a little thumbs up here for some of the runes that actually rolled with the right main stats. For example, this northeastern damage rune, which is the equivalent of your speed boots for this location, has speed as the right uh, main stat. So that's always a plus. For example, this one right here, same thing, it does have speed. This one right here does have some interesting substats, at least speed, therefore you might consider purchasing that one. What about this one up here? It has some speed. They're not necessarily all always perfect but you can certainly get some really really good pieces off this shop right here and i think that, that is absolutely amazing so guys there you have it a quick rundown of what is about to happen in dragon champions if you haven't started you can do so right now thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later